Hallelujah and blessings in Jesus, friends. Welcome back to Hayek Kadosh Ministries, where holiness is a way of life, and Jesus is truly King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And together, God's people say, Hallelujah. Well, friends, today is August the 3rd in the year of our Lord, 2017, and this is one a day for the soul. Now, our text this morning is going to come out of Psalm chapter 42 and verse 1, which reads in the King James Version, As the heart panteth after the water brooks, so panteth my soul after thee, O God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When shall I come and appear before God? Now, an easy translation of this would be, as the deer thirsts after water, so does my soul thirst after thee. My soul thirsts for thee, O God, for you, the living God. When shall I come and live before thee? Now, friends, it's evident that you wouldn't be here this morning if your soul wasn't thirsting after God. If your soul wasn't thirsty for his spirit, for his move in your life, for a fresh submersion in his blessing. And so the question that we must ask ourselves is why is it as the people of God, we feel this way? We feel so barren. We feel so dry. We feel so homesick. And I think the answer, friends, is given us in the book of Second Peter chapter 2, beginning at verse 6, when it says, God, turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with an overthrow, making them an example unto those that after should live ungodly. But now here's the key verse. And he delivered just Lot. And when it says just Lot, it doesn't mean only Lot. It's saying that he delivered the righteous man Lot, who was vexed with filthy ways of living of the wicked around him. In verse 8, it says, For that righteous man, speaking of Lot, dwelling among them, the sinners of Sodom and Gomorrah, in seeing their lifestyle and hearing their conversation day after day, vexed his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. And so his soul was weighed down and tormented day after day because of the lives that the people around him were living. And friends, isn't that true of us? We look around the world that we live in and it burdens our soul. We see the choices that they make. We see the direction that they're heading. We see their defiance to God. We see their pleasure in sin and it vexes our soul. Why? Because as the deer pants after the water, my soul, O God, longs after thee. We long for a world of righteousness, for a world free from sin and pain and suffering. And yet we see the very people who live among us are the ones who are causing such pain and suffering, who desire such lives of sin. And this vexes our soul day after day. And it leaves us feeling barren, empty, and dry. But we must not look to this world for our joy. We must not look to this world for our peace. We must not look to this world for our satisfaction. But all of our satisfaction, all of our peace, all of our joy is found in Him and Him alone. And so as sin increases upon this earth, we should not be surprised by the experiences that we face day after day. Satan, knowing that his time is short, is unleashing the hordes of hell upon this earth. And so it might seem that God is withdrawing his spirit. And so we as his people must rely more wholly upon him. And that's what we're told in Psalm chapter 37, verse 7. When we find ourselves in this situation we are to rest in the Lord, to take comfort in the Lord, and to wait patiently upon him. We can't force his hand. You know, the old saying says that 
the heart grows fonder in absence. And that is certainly true when we feel absent from the Lord. We seek him more fervently. We desire him more intensely. And so when the day of fresh blessing does come, we appreciate it even more. So I encourage you to be faithful with the Christian disciplines, those things that you know are true. And as you hunger for him, wait and be patient because the blessing is coming. Well, I love you, friends. I don't know where you are in your journey. I don't know what you're experiencing. But if you're like me, this portion of scripture is a fresh drink of water to the soul. Now, may your journey be blessed as you continue faithfully in your walk with the Lord Jesus. As he wills and until tomorrow, friends, I love you and I'll see you on the next video.